Hi, welcome back to Eddie's Kitchen. I'm Eddie. How many of you are using or want to use a multi-cooker for your daily cooking? There are many companies out there that are making multi-cookers, which shows how hot and trendy multi-cookers are these days. So in this video, I want to share my own experience with a multi-cooker, a mini review of one, and I also want to show you how I use my multi-cooker for my cooking. Recently, a Korean company named Kuku contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try their products. Some of you may not be familiar with Kuku. Um, Kuku is the top electric rice cooker brand in Korea with over 40 year history. I've been growing up watching TV commercials with this song. Kuku haseyo, Kuku. <laughs> You'll hear this song again from my Kuku multi cooker in this video later. I also grew up seeing cooked rice cookers in almost every houses that I visited in Korea. It is that popular and famous. If you go to a big Korean grocery store like H Mart, you've been seeing cooked rice cooker at least once before. I found out that Kuku's products are made in Korea, which is another appealing point for me. Anyway, there are big and small Korean companies that make very good products and I have wanted to introduce them to the world if I get the chance. So with all these regions, I was very excited to hear from Kuku. I know many of you are interested in cooking food with a multi-cooker, so this kind of review can be very useful for you. So I decided to try the Kuku multi-cooker. I think uh, Kuku has an excellent technical capabilities in building really good rice pressure cookers. So my expectation is already high. So let's see if they can reach my expectation with their multi-cooker. First, I will show you the parts of this Kuku 8-in-1 multi-pressure cooker, iCook Q5 Premium. This multi-cooker comes with one user manual in English, Chinese, and Spanish. One cooking guidebook with 30 delicious looking recipes. A rice scoop. A measuring cup. A steam plate. and a cleaning pin that is attached on the bottom of the unit. As you can see, my model is a creamy white color with this pretty rose pink part. I love the color combination and the nice design for their pressure cookers. It is a decent size. It is not too heavy, but it is not too light either. Overall, it looks nice and fancy and it doesn't look cheap at all. On the top part, we see this digital programmed steam releaser. Steam release will begin. This multi cooker will automatically release the pressure rather than having to do that manually like other pressure cookers. Even better is that the steam release is extremely quiet. My husband, who hates noisy things, was very impressed with how quiet it was when it released the pressure. This is the lock and unlock knob. For safety, the machine makes sure it locked before cooking something. It turns in either direction very smoothly, which makes it feel expensive. When the knob is in the unlocked position, you can push down on this button to open the lid. The steam was already released, so you don't have to worry about burning yourself from the hot steam. On the lid, there is a detachable rubber gasket. When you want to clean it, you can hold this knob and pull out. It will come out easily. So you can remove this gasket and clean it separately and can easily reassemble it. This machine has an inner part inside. When I look at this inner part for the first time, I was a little surprised 
because unlike some other brands of multi cookers, Cuckoo's inner pot has a non stick coating. So I asked them the reason for that and if it would hold up over time to the pressure and heat. They said that they developed their own non stick coating, which will hold up and keep food from sticking onto the walls of the pot. It does appear to be a very high quality non stick coating. But for those who want an all stainless option, Cuckoo will be selling a model like that soon as well. So now let's look at the front LED display, control panel, and the rest of the parts of this multi cooker. iCook Q5 Premium has 8 different functions, which means it could replace up to 8 kitchen appliances, including a pressure cooker, slow cooker, rice cooker, portable stovetop for frying, steamer, warmer, yogurt maker, and soup maker. This one appliance can free up space and lower the total cost of ownership of mini appliances, assuming that someone is going to buy a bunch of them. With their 40 years of research and development, and the computerized sensors within this machine, they determined the best time and heat for each category for your cooking, so you can just simply select the cooking button and let it cook for you. To use this multi cooker, you put the inner pot inside, close and lock the lid, and then select your choice of cooking options. To pick it, press this menu button. I will try browning frying function. Then with this selection button and this heat time button, you can pick the cooking time and the temperature of the cooking level. Once you selected all three options, then you can push this cook button. The machine will tell you it is starting to cook. At any time, you can stop it with this cancel button. Once your food has cooked, you do not need to hang around the multi cooker for any further actions it automatically switches to the keep warm mode. The LCD screen will count up by the hour. The keep warm function maintains hot food until you are ready to serve them. Lastly, for the control panel with this preset button, you can delay your cooking time up to 12 hours. I like this because I can preset my rice before I go to bed and when I get up, I can have freshly cooked rice right away. It is also great if I want to soak some beans overnight and then cook them the next day. Rice has been reserved. If you look at the back side of it, you can see this drain dish. It gets some water in it while it's cooking. So you can simply take it out like this and pour out water after cooking. It was easy to clean, dry, and put back. Hello, this is Cuckoo, voice guide. The iCook Q5 Premium has a voice guide in English or Chinese. The voice guidance system can help you use this machine without reading the instruction book. It also tells you when it is done as well as when some key milestones are passed during the cooking process. Some people might not like it and you can easily adjust the voice volume like this. Or just turn it off. I like it though, so I will leave mine on. Voice function has been cancelled. Overall, I like its design, quietness, and safety features, as well as its ease of use. So, next, I'll show you some 
uh, real world test and result of what I cooked with it. I tried to make at least one food from each food category so I can show you the variety of food that you can make with it. On the first day, I tried this Indian tikka masala because my family loves Indian food. I cooked this Indian basmati rice on my stove and cooked the chicken tikka masala at the same time in my multi cooker. Multi -cook has been completed. I thought that I could make my Indian rice in the multi cooker easily, so I'll try that the next time. Anyway, I served the rice tikka masala with some garlic naan. On the second day, I cooked this pretty looking dessert using the steam function. It is so cool that you can make different kinds of desserts without firing up the oven. It would also be great to make Korean steamed buns in it. On the third day, I cooked this Korean multi-flavor sweet rice called yakbap in Korean. Simply mix all the ingredients in the pot and select steam cook, then you will get this delicious yakbap or yakshik that has rice, nuts, dried fruit and seasonings. I already have a successful recipe for it, so you can try it. On the fourth day, I tried to make mashed potatoes with it. Using peeled and chopped yellow potatoes with some salt water, I used the multi-cook function. My potatoes came out perfect. The potatoes had the right amount of saltiness and the texture was great for mashed potatoes. I just mashed them with some butter and a little bit of milk with this potato masher several times. They were very tasty. On the fifth day, I wondered how it would cook beans. So I cooked black bean soup using soaked dried beans. My soup turned out a little too watery than what I like for mine, but the flavor was good. So the next time, I reduced the broth. The soup function took care of the cooking process and time, and my beans were cooked really well. I can picture that it would make delicious multigrain or bean rice with it. On the sixth day, I cooked plain white rice and chicken porridge. Some people might have a problem getting the right amount of water to cook their rice and porridge. The inner pot has this water line that depends on the rice amount. So if you just follow the lines, anybody can make the rice successfully. I heard from my sister in Korea that cooker pressure cookers make really delicious porridge. So I was excited to try my porridge. Maybe I was overconfident about my cooking abilities using this multi cooker. I don't know. I ended up putting a little too much water in it for my porridge. I learned that when you cook something with your multi pressure cooker, it takes less time to cook and it requires less water or liquid than you would use by cooking something on a stove. I like my porridge a little thick, but if you like soupy porridge like my friend Linda, you will really like what I made. Finally, it was the last day of my one-week experiment with this machine. To test how it works for seafood, I cooked some shrimp and seasoned it with different ingredients. When I cook seafood such as shrimp or clams for a pasta dish, I saute some garlic or onions with some butter or olive oil because that gives it extra good flavor. This machine has a browning frying function so I can melt or browning some butter and garlic with it. And later I can add some shrimp and cook for 20 minutes. I took out all the shrimp and mixed them with the seasoning ingredients. I like the fact that I didn't have to use different pots and pans to cook a dish 
and everything was done in the multi cooker by adding ingredients to the pot and pushing buttons. It will definitely spoil me for shortcut cooking. After making all these dishes, I tried the auto steam clean function. Automatic sterilization. To use it, pour 3 cups of water in the inner pot, close the cover, turn the cover handle to lock, select the auto clean menu item, and then press the cook button. Ta-da! With one push, a strong jet of steam is released to clean and sanitize the interior of the machine in minutes. You can keep your multi-cooker clean and hygienic with this cleaning function. From this week's experience, I can understand why so many people want to use multi-cookers these days. They make cooking faster, easier, and cheaper. Pressure cooking tenderizes the cheapest cuts of meat as well as quickly dehydrating dried beans and grains. I also read that some people believe that pressure cooking retains greater nutritional value than other cooking methods. Multi-cookers also use less energy when compared to using a stove or oven because they lack in the heat. I can see myself using often this Cuckoo's multi-cooker for my cooking, so I'm glad that I could introduce Cuckoo's iCook Q5 Premium to you. You can purchase it from uh, Cuckoo's American website, cuckoomulticooker.com or Amazon. I'll add the link for it below this video just in case you're interested in trying it. If my review video was useful for you, please give me a thumbs up Share this video with others and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any tips or experiments about using multi cookers, please leave a comment below this video too. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.